Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can manually upgrade your Oculus Quest to whatever firmware is currently available. Alright, so you don't want to wait. You've got some awesome features you want to try out, but you still haven't gotten the update manually, or you haven't gotten it automatically. You want to do it yourself. Now, before you do this, let me warn you, you make sure that you have the right firmware file because if you use the wrong one, in theory, you could brick your quest, but it just probably won't do anything. But again, do this at your own risk. Okay, so first you have to get the latest firmware file and you can sometimes find those different places on the web. Today, we're gonna find it on Reddit. All right, and here in this example, we have the version 28, uh, but this works for whatever version you wanna to upgrade to. We can download it, click on it here. Uh, some people somehow are able to get the firmware files. And so I actually already downloaded it. So I don't need to download it again. And you have to use ADB. You have to put your quest into, you have to put your quest into side load mode. I've written a bat file to do this all for you. I will leave a link in the video description to it. All right, here's what you gotta do. You gotta plug your quest in to your computer, double click on the upgrade firmware bat file, it says make sure you are using the correct firmware file, otherwise you could brick your device in theory, I don't want you getting mad at me, seriously, do this at your own risk. I haven't read of anybody actually bricking their device, but in theory it could be possible. All right, list of attached devices, you see your device, it says this will only work if you see your device listed above, press any key to reboot your quest into side load mode, press any key to continue. All right. Press it again. It's rebooting the quest into side load mode. It will be purple. When it's purple, we know that we're in side load mode. It's white right now. Right, is that white? No, it's, it's purple. Okay. That is purple. We're in side load mode. Drag and drop the firmware file. Here we go. Drag and drop. And then just press enter. Boom. Now it's not going to work for me because I already updated. And if you ever have any problems, let me show you what it looks like here. you can use the volume keys to move things around and then press the power button that says to reboot, press the power button. Now it's going to reboot. So, but had this actually been a lower version firmware that would have updated. I did this like two days ago and then it took almost like 10 minutes to reboot, but it was fine. No problem. All right guys. So that's how you update whatever firmware version you want to get, get on whatever firmware version you want to get on. It should be the same for any version, whether it's 28, 29, 30. I will keep this video updated. I'll keep the links in the video description updated. Just download the zip file that'll have this bat file in it. It'll also have ADB in it. If you have any questions, let me know. I will keep a mirror to the firmware files as well. Remember, do this at your own risk and I will catch you guys later. Thanks.